In this video, I'm going to be reviewing an all-in-one CRM software called Folk. This CRM software is jam-packed with power. It's got some incredible flexibility where you can add and change fields, connect third-party apps like Zapier, but ultimately use it as your own little mailbox. There is so much you can do with this CRM tool that I'm going to try and cover all of the main things that I think will transform your business and streamline everything for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours, and I'll also leave a special free trial link in the description below so you can try without any risk at all. Now, just before we get started, one really cool thing about Folk is that they do a ton of freebies. So if you click the link below, then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you'll see all of these free tools that you can use without even registering an account. So I strongly recommend to go check them out out because there's a ton of value before you even invest a penny. We are now inside Folk and there's a ton of stuff that's going on. On the surface it looks extremely simplistic and not really that much to do but as you watch me go through and start setting bits and bobs up you'll realize wow this does a whole lot of stuff. First let's explore the dashboard. When you log in this is the first thing that you're going to see. You're going to see your navigation in the left hand side and then you'll have your actual dashboard which is where you will manage all of your contacts and do some really cool thing. Now before you do anything go over to settings and members and in this area is where you can invite your teammates, you can connect your Google account or your Microsoft account and this will import all of your contacts directly into Folk so you don't need to manually do much at all. And there's also some really other amazing stuff that this does, so I'm gonna go through that shortly. Then under the senders, this is where we verify our emails, so we can actually send emails directly from this app. In other words, we're going to be saying goodbye to our inboxes because we can do everything in this one area. This is where we can generate an API key. This is for the more techie people, but basically if you have third-party applications, perhaps you have other CRM softwares or you have some bespoke tools or you want to create some funky workflows. So when you add a new contact into Folk, you have a automated greeting go out via social media. Well, this is where you would get something called an API key where you can connect it to a custom software or a no code solution like Zapier. They also have a desktop app where you can download it and then when you log in you'll see a replica of what you can see in the browser version and it all syncs live from whatever application you're using at the time. For the rest of this review, I'm going to be just using the browser version. And it's important to note that they also have a Google Chrome extension, which we'll get into a little later down the line. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up some folders. So we'll head over to the left and we'll click the create a group. And then you'll have a bunch of these templates here. Now, these are pre-made templates that other people or folk have used and created for us. And we can just one click and then use this template. And now when we go into it, we can see that we have the sub menu or we can call it a folder or, or a category, whatever you feel most comfortable with, uh, folk user terminology group. And then inside this group, you will have all of these headings that match co-investors list. So all the information that you want will have a heading just like that. And this is all the pre-made templates for you. If you want to add additional templates, you can click this add column and then you'll have all of these different fields. One specific field is the magic field. And again, we're going to get into this shortly. There's a lot to folk, uh, very powerful. It's pretty cool. Okay. But you can add custom headers to each of your groups so you can really get that flexibility and all the information that you need. If you don't want that group, hover over it and do delete group. Okay, so we're going to create a few groups and we'll start off with the first group and we're going to call this team. Okay, so this is everyone who's inside of our organization. So now we have it three groups. I've just gone ahead and created them. We've got team, tier one clients. So these are actual clients. And then we've got newsletter. So these are all people who are subscribed to our newsletters because you can set up email automations and send out emails 
at mass using folk system. Next, we want to start adding people to our system. And before we do this, we actually need to connect our inboxes. So we go to settings and members, we then go to account, and we're going to go ahead and click on one of these buttons to connect our account. You can then tell it to synchronize the data. So if we go back here, you should now see you'll have this browse people button and that is all of the contacts in your email application. So if we click on browse people, for obvious reasons, I do need to blur some of this out, but you can see we have all of these people, all of these contacts that we can actually add into our CRM. Alternatively, if you don't want to connect or import in that manner, you can simply do import people from file. We can then drag some data in, map the fields, and do review and then continue. Just so you know, this data is dummy data. Now, when I imported this data, I don't really have the emails or anything on those lines. So one of the things I can do is just simply manually add this email. So if I double click on a field, I can say hello and add the email in just like that. And without needing to navigate to a different part of the CRM system, I've just updated that record at the click of a fingers. Super easy. We can also create different views to help us structure our data in different ways. So an example of this, we can actually create a grid-like data view. So if we just do new status and we'll just say no, we can say processing, we can say closed. Okay, so now we have all of these columns and all we need to do is actually drag these over like this so you can create pipelines for all of your data and streamline it in that way as well. We can also click on the information and it will quickly show all of their data just like this and again it's not taking you to another screen it's just a quick overlay that we can click and edit if we wanted to. And now I have a contact that's actually got some real data and I want to show you the sort of stuff that you can do with this. So if this is an existing contact in your database already and you've already had a ton of interaction with them you can click on their name go to interactions and and this will show the past history of all the emails and communication that you've had with this person. And it's all logged in a really clean format that you can look at, dive into, and monitor. We can also send an email directly from our panel which will take us to here. This is where things get really streamlined because we can use shortcuts and variables to create templates and pre-populate information. So we don't always need to remember the names of people or what their businesses is because we can add variables in. So an example of this is we can say hello and then we can do the forward slash and we can add name. Whenever we send an email to this contact or the contact the field's populated in, it's going to populate the variable with that person's name. But we can go further and say, I was browsing your website. And then we can add browsing your website, add the variable in, and then add the company URL. And thought you could try these tips and then we can do the forward slash again and all of our custom header fields will show in this area but what if you wanted to get really personalized or you wanted to start integrating ai into your processor well check this out we're going to go to our dashboard and in our dashboard we're going to add a column and the column we're going to add is magic field now what magic field does is it uses AI combined with the data that we've already given it to generate new information. An example of this is, so if we're going to prompt examples and click on generate company description, it's going to say write a description for company name whose domain is company URL. So I'm going to do save and I'm just going to add in the URL for this contact and then I'm going to do generate. It's now generated this description and what is it? It says Rent SEO is a professional website design company. That is spot on because that's exactly what Rent SEO is and I'm going to rename this field as AI description and then just like that we now have a description. So this actually removes all of the research we would need to do when it comes to adding new contact into the system. So if we now come back to the email template and click on the insert variable tab, we now have a new custom field saying AI description, and that is the magic field. So we'll select that, and that would pre-populate this little area as the AI description, but it wouldn't make much sense, <laughs> you know, in 
in the grand scheme of things if we said and thought you could try these tips with the AI description. So we could take this one step further by going back to the app, clicking the add column, doing another magic field, and we could say, write three useful tips to improve this business type and list them in bullet points. And now we're going to do AI description and do save. We'll then do generate. And if we have a look, offer responsive website design to ensure that the website provide a range of customizable website design, develop a strong online presence, etc. So it's given us three useful ideas that we can use now in that template. So I'm just going to change the name of this to ideas, do save. I'm going to get rid of this description and replace it with ideas. Then I can say all the best. Marty. So the point of all of this is that you can create custom fields, attach them to the templates and get extremely flexible without you needing to do a lot of manual work with populating the data because Folk does that all for you. Next, you can also save it as a draft template. So we can just say uh, suggestions. And now you can use this over and over wherever you go. Let's say this is a newsletter or something those lines. You can click on the new step and then change the delay in how often you want this to go out, maybe every seven days. And then you can create a, another email to be sent out after the first one. And you can keep adding in steps for each week an email goes out. So you can create full blown email series at the click of a finger for each individual contact in your system. Another really useful thing folk can be used for is actually cleaning up the contacts in your database. Because if you've been using the same email for years, then you will most likely get a number of different emails for specific individual if they've changed around different positions in the company or they've rebranded their business name. So what they've got is something called clean up duplicate. And what this will do is it will detect if there's replicated data across different contacts inside your inbox. And if there is, you can do merge all or just merge that field and it will go. So we can do merge again. And now it's cleaning up your database. It's merging all the details of that one contact under one roof so you don't have tons and tons of replication. Heading over to messages, this is where it will show you which messages have been sent or if they're drafts or pending, what's been read, what's been replied, clicked, or even bound. And if you click on it, it will take you directly to the email. Also, if you want to create different workspaces for, let's say, different departments of your team, if you head over to the top left, then do new workspace, you can decide if you want it for your team. And then you can have a completely different workspace with completely different contacts under completely different brands all under one space and give relevant people access to what they need access to whilst you can navigate between all the different workspaces. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is the Chrome extension and this is powerful. So the fact that you get this included in your Folk membership is pretty nifty, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head over to LinkedIn. I've already installed the app, it looks like this, okay? And when you're browsing through LinkedIn, if you see someone that you think, hey, I might connect with, or I want in my database, you can click on their profile, then click the Folk extension icon, and you can add this person to your CRM software just by doing add to newsletter. And just like that, it's extracted all of the information from his LinkedIn profile in the right places, including URLs like websites and actual LinkedIn profile, his descript the descriptions, the phone number, all of it. So if we now go back to our app, our relevant workspace, look who we have right here. And now we can click on him, open up the contact, see what interactions we've had, and we've now got a new prospect that we can reach out to if we decide. If you head over to folk.app slash tutorials or click the link below, it's gonna take you to all of the tutorials on, on every single feature that this CRM software has to offer. I've gone through a lot of the training, it's straight to the point, easy to follow, and it's definitely worth reviewing because there are things like how to set up multiple senders and they even help train you in how to create effective and high converting emails or how to connect 
no-code solutions like Make, Zapier, etc. So what do I think of Folk? Do I think it's worth it? In the 10 years of being an online marketer and dealing with loads of companies and running my digital agency and then doing other things, I've come across a lot of CRM softwares. Some of them are good, some of them not so great. But there's one thing that most CRM softwares have in common that's pretty frustrating. They're not that flexible. Each CRM software tries to be a for all sort of industries. Each industry needs something specific to their business. Each business needs something specific to their business. So having the ability to create custom fields and integrate AI, as well as the desktop application where we can actually manage and treat the CRM software like an inbox is something that will only benefit a business. Finding a CRM software that does that without over cluttering or having the system be really slow is quite unique. So finding something like Fault where you can customize everything, where it uses AI but in a practical way, where it's fast, it's clean, it's not counterintuitive, is something that I think almost every single business should have in their arsenal. What are the main things that I like about Folk? Well, I absolutely love the Google Chrome extension. The fact that you can import leads from LinkedIn amongst a few other places is an amazing addition to a CRM software. I like the fact that we can create email series and that they've integrated all the variables directly in the email so we don't need to be copy and pasting weird tags. It's just dynamically placed for us. It's great that we can connect multiple different domain names and also set up different different organization so we can market or manage under different brands. But the thing I do like about Folk the most is the pure flexibility. The fact that you can create custom headers, custom fields, integrate that with AI and really adjust everything that you need a CRM system to be for the specific business. And it's all done in a simple, streamlined and practical way. So would I recommend Folk? Yes, I would. Go check them out. I've left the link below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.